as long as you're okay using third-party software, Rufus is the easiest way I know of to both upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and also to do a fresh install. So you can do Rufus. So Rufus is at rufus.ie and um, they have all these ads on here to uh, try to get you to download some kind of extensions. So you just scroll down a little bit and you click on Rufus 4.6 standard. There's also a portable version, but I'll just show you one that we install. And we're going to just save this here. Okay, and now I'm going to install Rufus. No, I don't want it looking for updates. You can manually trigger that. All right, so I've already got a flash drive plugged in that's 16 gigabytes. And um, I downloaded the Windows 11 ISO. So I'm going to go to select. And then we're going to go down to um, this PC. See, and then I've got a folder here called ISO. And here's the Windows 11 ISO. So you just double click that. It's going to scan the image, make sure that it's a valid ISO. And then from this point on, if you're using unsupported hardware, you're probably wanting to do MBR, okay? Because that is what you use if you don't use Secure Boot. So we'll just do MBR. I think this will work with GPT as well, but I'm not positive on that one. And we need to give it a label, which is, this is the default disk image label. And when I do start, it's going to ask me some stuff here. So um, if you don't want to have to have a Microsoft account, you just remove the requirement for a Microsoft account. There's other ways to do it that don't require Rufus. But hey, man, since we're already doing that, that's pretty nice. So we can remove the requirements of four plus gigs of RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. Uh, you can also um, go ahead and set your local values and such, and you can skip the privacy questions. But I'm not going to do that in this case. Uh, it's up to you. The option is there. So I'll just click OK. It's going to give me a warning. All data on this device will be destroyed. I'll just click OK. And we wait while Rufus creates the patched installation drive. Well, the speed of this will depend on the speed of your uh, flash drive. Mine happens to be kind of old and slow. And that's okay. But I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to sit here. And we're just about done. I wish I would have used a newer flash drive, but I didn't want to format all my new ones. All right, so we are done. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to do something controversial here that I know I'll get flack for. But out of the interest of convenience for myself, I'm going to demonstrate this to you in a VM with Windows 10. Uh, that is unsupported for installing Windows 11 and I'll show you that when we get in here the reason I'm not using real hardware is I don't know what I did with my i7 6700k processor and motherboard and I don't really feel like digging through my storage to find it so you'll see I've got Windows 10 baseline that is just an untouched Windows 10 with nothing but the install and all the updates are in and then I clone that so I can run experiments and all that stuff so um, that's all this is so I'm gonna fire this up and I'm gonna put it in scaled mode We'll have to flip out of scaled mode because I will have to attach the um, flash drive to the VM. And that's okay too. 
I do not have the VirtualBox extensions on this uh, image, and that's fine. Okay, so let's right click here. I'm going to go to System, just to show you that we're dealing with uh, Windows 10 Home 22H2. All right, and let's close that. I'm going to go ahead and um, download the Microsoft PC Health Check. Okay, and click the first link, and it should give me a link here to download it. And basically all this is is a little thing that supposedly checks the health of your PC, but the biggest reason to ever get it is to see if your PC is officially supported for installing Windows 11. Okay, and it's, it's so nice and, and healthy and helpful. So I'll check now, and you'll see immediately this PC does not have secure boot. It doesn't have TPM 2.0. Okay, so otherwise this wouldn't install. Now let's get out of scaled mode for a minute. And I'm going to attach my flash drive by going down here to this little no USB device is attached. We'll right click on it here. And here's my Lexar drive that we made with the patched Windows 11 setup on it. Okay, and you can see it's got that big name that is default when you use Rufus and that particular Windows 11 ISO. So I'll close my health checker. We'll come back to that once I get this upgraded to Windows 11 using the Rufus patched installation. And it's even, it's, it's kind of funny really. So we go here and you'll notice uh, I can go back into scaled mode now. Yeah, let's switch. You'll notice that it says, uh, let's see here, I'm going to right click and go to properties. And it says Windows Setup Wrapper, right? So, you know, the, the patch that Rufus applies does change uh, the setup and uh, some other things to allow it to bypass. But that's okay. I've been using Rufus for years to make ISOs of Linux and Windows and everything else on a flash drive, and I've never had any problems. Not to say that I won't, but uh, I trust this about as much as I trust anybody. So we're going to say yes. And all of this is pretty bog standard. It's just it bypasses a bunch of the stuff that you normally have to do when you're upgrading to Windows 11. Uh, I do not want to uh, send anything to Microsoft. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll go next. It's going to check for updates. Some people will tell you here to go ahead and disconnect from the internet so that this part here doesn't happen. But I'm not going to do that. Even if you are bypassing the Windows 11 requirements, it's a good idea to keep your security updates actually doing their thing. Let's go ahead and get rid of this browser window behind us here. We don't need it. Okay, there we go. That just feels a little nicer for some reason. Let's go ahead and accept. I don't think doing these bypasses is illegal. It's just not recommended by Microsoft. At any time, they could apply a patch that is going to brick machines that have used this method to get past the Windows 11 requirements. Um, but there have been times that their officially supported patches have bricked some Windows 11 or Windows 10, Windows 11, even Windows 7 installs that I've had to administer. So if you don't care about being officially supported, hey, knock your socks off with 
this nice Rufus method. And there's not really anything to see here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. And look at that. We got this far. It's happy. It's going to let us do the upgrade. And this should look familiar to anybody that's administered PCs for a company or friends or family. Somebody remind me to never use an old slow flash drive ever again because this is taken forever. But we're back and we're about to restart. And we're done. And here we are. Right click. Let's go to system. And Windows 11 Home. And let me show you something funny. If we go back to, actually, we don't have to install it again. It's still there. If we run PC Health Check again and check for Windows 11 compatibility. <laughs> it's still not happy about it. So there you go. That is basically the easiest way in the world to upgrade to Windows 11, even if you have older hardware without Secure Boot or TPM or a supported processor or anything else. I hope that helped somebody. If it did, give me a sub. Have a great day.